microscopy, compound light microscope use and care. After completing this video, you should be able to properly use and care for a compound light microscope, sometimes referred to as LM. Components of a light microscope Bright field or compound light microscope is an instrument most commonly used in microbiology labs. When objects are examined, they appear as dark objects in a bright visual field. In this section, we focus on the most important parts and function. A light source is located in the base of the microscope. A rotating wheel or knob can be used to adjust the intensity of the light. Condenser lens. The first lens system of the light microscope is located beneath the stage and is usually contained in the same housing as the iris diaphragm. The condenser collects and focuses light on the specimen being studied. Although the condenser can be raised or lowered, best results in the microbiology lab will be obtained when the condenser is kept at its highest point, just below the level of the stage. The platform that supports the slide is known as the stage. Most microscopes have a clamping device known as the mechanical stage, which allows the slide to be held and moved with more precision. Objective lenses, the second lens system of the light microscope, are found just above the stage. The three or four objectives are attached to a revolving nose piece that allows the lenses to be rotated into position. The four objectives have magnifications of four times, 10 times, 40 times, and 100 times, designated as scanning lens, low power, high power, and oil immersion, respectively. Ocular lenses, the third lens system of the light microscope, are those closest to your eyes. In most instances, these lenses have a magnification of 10 times. Binocular microscopes have two sets of these, while monocular microscopes have only a single ocular. Binocular microscopes will also have a means of adjusting the distance between the oculars. Two concentric focusing knobs are located on each side of the microscope. The large outer knob is the coarse focus adjustment, while the smaller inner knob is the fine focus adjustment. An ocular micrometer is simply a circular glass disc that has a series of regularly spaced markings etched onto its upper surface. The distance between the markings on an ocular micrometer have no meaning until the ocular is paired with an objective lens and calibrated using a stage micrometer. The stage micrometer resembles a slide, except that it has markings etched upon it that are exactly 0.1 millimeter or 100 micrometers and 0.01 millimeter or 10 micrometers apart. Care of the light microscope. The microscope should always be held with two hands when transporting it. One hand should grasp the microscope around the arm, while the second supports the instrument from the bottom. Once at your bench, place the instrument gently on the table. Keep excess electric cord secured or wrapped loosely around the base of the microscope to decrease the chance of it becoming entangled or becoming in contact with water. To protect the microscope against dust and chemicals, be sure to cover the instrument at the end of the lab period while staining or undertaking any other procedure that could splatter your scope with dyes or chemicals. Use only lint-free optical tissues or cotton swabs to clean lenses. If the lenses are quite dirty, a small amount of alcohol or optical cleaning solution can be used to remove oily residue. Observations Carefully carry your microscope to your work area and place it gently on the bench top. Plug in the microscope and turn on the light source, keeping the voltage control, the brightness, at a minimum. Be sure the condenser is raised to its maximum and the diaphragm is almost completely closed. Increase the voltage to the lamp until the illumination is at a comfortable level. Place a slide on the stage, holding it in place with the stage clamps. Be sure that the specimen is on the upper surface of the slide. Center the slide over the light beam emanating from the condenser. Move the lowest power objective, usually four times, into position, listening for an audible click 
as it slips into place. Scan the slide until you see the field of view. Bring the image into focus using first the coarse focusing knob and then the fine focusing knob to obtain the sharpest possible image. Use the diopter adjustment to compensate for differences in visual acuity between your eyes as follows. 1. Close the eye with the adjustable ocular and focus your open eye using the coarse and fine adjustment knobs. And 2. Using only the eye with the adjustable ocular, turn the diopter adjustment until the image is in sharp focus in one single field of view. Look through both oculars and slowly adjust the difference between them so that the interpopillary distance matches the distance between your eyes and a single image is shown. Move the slide so that the area you wish to examine is centered in the microscopic field. Your microscope is par-centric, meaning that once a specimen is located in the center of the field, it will remain centered when changing objectives. Put the highest objective into place, making sure that it clicks into position. Most microscopes are par-focal, meaning that if a specimen is focused with one objective, the image should remain sharp as the objectives are changed. You will have to make small adjustments to both the fine focus and diaphragm of each new objective. When viewing prokaryotes, bacteria, and archaea, you will need to use the oil immersion lens. To do so, one, after viewing the specimen with the high dry lens and obtaining a clear image, swing the lens out of the way and add a single drop of immersion oil to the slide directly above the condenser. And two, rotate the oil immersion lens into place, making sure that the end of the lens is touching the oil. Remember, the oil immersion lens is the 100 times lens. Open the iris diaphragm almost all the way to get the highest quality image. When you are done, clean any oil off the lenses of your microscope as well as off the stage, focusing knobs and cover, and store it in a designated location.